So uh, let me start in some place here. Um, let's let's start with a real little uh, real world challenge. Um, we've been working with a pharma company in the UK, and uh, like most uh, companies, they've had trouble getting access to uh, HCPs uh, due to the pandemic. So they had to create um, a remote sales team. They did that with five to six remote experts, so kind of specialists in remote uh, remote engagement. This team were doing exceptional and exceeding their targets for in a very short uh, time frame. But at the same time, they had, and this is something that you can probably recognize, they had an idle sales, sales force of around 100 reps. Um, they hadn't been able to meet with customers for a period of time. It probably sounds a little familiar. Um, the company knew that uh, remote would be an integral part of their remote uh, of their engagement strategy going forward. So they needed to figure out what to do with their field force. Um, but they also knew that they couldn't afford keeping all the 100 reps uh, and the remote team. So if you were managing that company, what would you do? In this case, um, they decided to sack the remote team and train their 100 traditional reps to do all the engagements, so face-to-face -face and remote. And I'm sure that some of them will be great at it. <clears throat> but uh, it also um, seems like they're trying to apply an old model to kind of a new world. So. I, I mean, I believe um, the winners post-COVID will be those companies that manage to not just do catch up, but uh, actually rethink their approach. Because becoming su successful with a remote engagement requires um, the right strategy, the right skills, and also the right technology. <clears throat> My name is Masbjani Kornbeck. I'm the commercial lead at uh, Agnisio. We're part of Big Tin Can, a global leader in digital sales enablement and automation. At Ignitia, we're experts in developing multi-channel and remote engagement solutions that are focused on the needs of life science companies. We've been doing that for 20 years. This year, we launched Ignitia Live, which is our remote detailing solution that's built specifically to meet uh, farmers' needs for easy, for effective, compelling, and complying, compliant remote engagement. Normally, at this time, we would be touring conferences and events to proudly showcase it. But um, this is, in fact, the first the bigger event. So you are am among the first to, um, to see it in real life. <clears throat> Today, I want to present uh, what we believe will make some companies winners in the post-pandemic world, because I'm ab absolutely certain that COVID changes everything. I've worked with digitalization in pharma for uh, around 10 years, helping pharma companies make uh, their HCP engagements more uh, effective and impactful using digital technology. In that whole period of time, we've talked about multi-channel, omni-channel, connected dis digital customer experiences, but how far did we actually get, if we are honest, until now? <clears throat> the interesting thing is that um, HCPs are requesting it now. So Ernest and Young, together with Reuters Events, did a study recently uh, among pharma companies. So 83%, as you can see here, believe that face-to-face -face access to HCPs will be challenged. And uh, they also found that 72% actually expect face-to-face -face engagements to be permanently reduced post-pandemic. So our customers, the HCPs, they've changed, meaning there is a permanent change for us, everybody, to change and digitalize our go-to-market and our, our, our approach. <clears throat> the good thing in all of this is that we can see that farmers also responding. We recently did an expert webinar where we were exploring remote engagement practices in the life sciences. We asked senior executives from more than 
100 different pharma companies about their expectations for future investments. And uh, as you can see on the results, basically all of them believe that investments in remote engagement would either increase or increase substantially over the next years. So, so that, that's a good sign. So you, so the interesting bit here is also to deep dive into, so how is it the farmer is responding? When, uh, when surveyed, 68% of uh, farmer uh, execs responded that um, live, remote, or phone detailing had been the most impactful channel during uh, the pandemic. And when looking beyond this, uh, this time, 66% actually believe that uh, this will still be the most impactful channel going forward. <clears throat> so this is what I really want to deep dive into because this is within our specialty, specialty area and our, our, um, our capabilities. So what is it that you need? What, what is it that you need to know about uh, remote detailing? Um, and what do you need to consider when selecting or figuring out what the right so remote solution is for your organization in specific because we all have in the individual needs so let's look at some of the biggest challenges that we hear our our farmer clients facing right now when it comes to hcp engagement and you can probably recognize uh, a lot of it so if we take the sales director so we'd hear him say that um, we're not making our quota because the number of engagements have dropped. Uh, and we don't really know what's going on in the meeting, so we don't know how to fix it. <clears throat> At the same time, we're hearing the sales rep saying that it's hard to get meetings with the HCPs and we need more and we need better marketing materials to be able to educate them better and be more relevant in our uh, to get those meetings. And also they are challenged in saying that it simply takes too long to get HCPs on to a presentation online and they either won't or can't download the, the meeting software that's needed. <clears throat> so from a business excellence uh, perspective, we, they, they, they would say we're lacking insights. Uh, we are lacking insights for meetings to understand what's going on and how we can help improve our go overall go-to-market. And at the same time, the marketeers are complaining that we lack da data. We're spending this much money into uh, fine tuning and creating amazing content. And we don't know if our, in our investments are paying off what is being used and uh, what do we need to do to help our salespeople meet the changing um, needs of our customers going forward. <clears throat> so, the essence of it and the sum of it is that um, we need to, to come up with the right capabilities to kind of embrace those challenges that are out there. So what I'd like to do is dive a little bit deeper into where some of these, uh, what those uh, capabilities might be to make it a little bit more um, clearer and um, transparent and, and tangible. What is it that's needed? So a few things. So ease, ease is really, really important. So making it easy for customers. Uh, as I said, HCPs, they, don't, they sometimes don't want to or they can't simply download uh, software. So we, we hear of a lot of uh, HCPs that have trouble accessing Zoom simply because of hospital firewalls and because they are blocked from, uh, from download, downloading um, those types of, um, of solutions. And it needs to be uh, simple and easy for the reps. So it's um, to make their experience as good as, as good as possible. They need to be able to locate relevant materials in a simple way when they need it. And at the same time, they don't want to spend hours in the CRM after a call. So anything that we can do to help um, automate their process is a really, really good idea and will definitely help um, increasing uptake and, um, and buy-in from, from the people that are using it on a, on a daily basis. <clears throat> Moving on to one of the things that's, that's really striking, and I, this is something that's, that's uh, top of my mind and, and somewhere where I believe we can really uh, make a difference because relevancy 
is really key when we are struggling for airtime and we're struggling for HCPs to, um, you know, to meet their screen fatigue. So making it compelling and engaging for customers is key. And I think that remote detailing is one of the ways that we can really make a, a difference because it enables us to create these real interactive presentations and, and experiences. Um, we call it co-browsing. What it means is that it enables uh, attendees on both sides, um, so ACPs to take active part in presentations uh, so that it, we turn it from a one-way presentation to an interactive uh, dialogue, where at the same time the presenter, our reps, uh, get in-session data as cues to, to help personalize the meetings. So uh, let me give you an example. Right now we're working with a pharma company and together with their digital agency, we're building digital decision trees. We basically, are, in that way, are helping their reps more easily get to the right in information that's relevant for that individual conversation for that HCP to streamline that whole process and make, and make it super relevant for, for their customers. In their case, it also means that they can directly create an order, uh, an order form for, for samples or further information, educational um, knowledge that, that's then automatically shared to the CRM and they can take action on it immediately. So this, um, this will help them uh, increase um, response time and, and, and um, turnover. Then it's about creating actionable data. Now I've just talked about in-session data and cues that the reps can get to help them be as relevant as possible. That's one thing, but also helping managers understand so how are we performing our, our key messages? Are they being um, communicated? Um, what is it that we are, we are providing and how, how we're meeting our metrics? And for C-level, to get an understanding about a more complete picture of the trends what is it that we're delivering in the market and what is it uh, what, what 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 is the feedback that we are getting and the interest that we are getting from from people in the market so and finally oh, it obviously need, needs to be compliant so that we match the farmers uh, fa the regulatory re requirements that we are accustomed to in in pharma so so basically saying that most companies fix the short term challenge with Zoom or Teams or another uh, video conferencing solution or maybe even the phone only. But while these solutions are great, have their purpose, they were also a great way to fix things to get through the first part of the pandemic. What we're seeing now is that pharma companies are looking for a more, more permanent solution that better may, uh, fit their needs for providing simple, effective, powerful experiences um, while meeting regulations and compliance needs and also um, needs for need, need uh, the need for data to drive uh, more sophisticated and effective communications going forward so this is why we really see um, remote detailing as a striking opportunity and one of the reasons that last quarter alone we saw an um, increase of remote engagement on on our technologies increase um, almost 700 <clears> percent <throat> Before wrapping up, let me give you a brief and powerful example of how one of our customers are demonstrating results from uh, remote detailing. And um, thanks to our friend, uh, friends at Solomon. One of the leaders within uh, diabetes, Novo Nordisk, lacked awareness and reached in, uh, and reached in uh, Mexico. They didn't have their own sales force in place to cover all of this huge area. So they, they hired an external sales partner that was specialized in digital and remote engagement with HCPs. They were then trained and uh, educated to carry out high level uh, product presentations. What they, what they then do is that they reach out to HCPs and engage via the normal way of communicating with them. So that could be via WhatsApp, it could be um, via phone, obviously, a messenger, um, it could even be via a video conference if that's a normal way for them to uh, approach their, their customers. And within six, uh, 40 seconds, they because they use this short link, they can get the HCPs onto a um, remote detailing presentation where they get the opportunity to present uh, Novo Nordisk's products 
uh, drugs in a professional and convincing way while tracking everything that takes place inside those engagements. And the results have been really remarkable. 92% of HCPs are so pleased that they'll recommend this service to their peers. The reps are rated um, 4.8 out of 5, emphasizing the value of the customer uh, experience that they are providing. So um, how they're providing relevance to, um, to HCPs. But most importantly, 53% of those HCPs have an actual interest and intention of prescribing the medicines to at least one patient in the following 30 days. So if we go back again and consider that example with the UK pharma company from my introduction, this case emphasizes the opportunity and tangible effects from taking a different approach to remote engagement. <clears throat> As I said, we've just launched Agnesio Life, our new and latest development, uh, a remote detailing solution that's built as a standalone solution. All it, it takes for it to work is a browser, so any device can be used, and it can be uh, used together with any CRM system and easily connected to other engagement uh, platforms. So if you're interested in seeing how it works, my colleague Nikolai will be giving a short demo in about uh, 30 minutes time, I believe, or 15 minutes time actually, at uh, 5.15 Central European time. So just after the session in the expo area. <clears throat> Other than that, we are also here to help. So we have tons of dialogues with the uh, pharma companies. So here, some of the ways that we typically help and how we are very keen to, uh, to open up a dialogue with, with you out there. So we can help explore best practices for remote and multi-channel HCP engagements, share uh, examples of how our other customers are doing this. We can help define uh, impact and return on investment from, from those re remote engagements and build a case, a business case for that. But also as part of the bigger Big Tin Can uh, group, we provide AI-driven digital content management, remote sales training and coaching tools, including some really, really cool ways of benefiting from uh, voice rec recognition. So if any of those areas are something that you are working with and want to dive deeper into, we're here to help. <clears throat> with that said, um, do reach out to me personally if uh, there's something that I can um, help you help with and I'll involve the right people obviously other than that I hope you have a fantastic um, event get a lot of learnings and uh, thank you for your time and um, hope to get in touch soon thank you <clears throat>